Hey guys, so today I wanted to come back and get another record in Polybridge 2. So I was hunting around for a while to find a level, but I ended up settling on this one, which is level 310. So let's get right into the level. So here you see my original design for the level, and it actually is pretty good, but there's definitely some things that could be shaved. Like the top arch for some reason extends all the way over, and I'm sure that was something that I did just to make sure the bridge worked the first time. There's already 138th place, which wasn't bad, top 20%, because I was probably just trying to get it under budget first try. So the first thing I did is get rid of those side supports. Now this is an important thing to do because really they're unnecessary when you think about it because the bottom of the bridge should be supporting those points. But in this case it was important because those reinforced, those top two roads weren't reinforced. But just reinforcing those and fixing the bottom support up a bit more, I ended up getting all the way to top 3% or 18. But I was surprised at that jump. I thought I was going to get like top 50. But the first thing I tried was going for the straight road here. Now, this isn't always the best thing to do, because it can definitely require more supports around it, but in this case, because of the way the road works and the fixed joints in the bottom, I thought it was definitely going to be the best way to go, but as you see, I just couldn't get that bottom piece to not break. And I, I ended up figuring out later why that was the case, but for now, I, it really just wasn't working. I was trying everything to make sure it was a muscle, I ended up having to make it a road muscle, which really isn't ideal, but then it kind of got even worse because the road itself started breaking, and I tried maybe going for an underbelly going longer, but it just became too much, so I ended up going for back to my original design and just trying to shrink the arches down a bit more and go for some more optimization changes. So the next thing I tried doing also was shrinking down the arch. Now this can have its ups and downs. It puts less stress on the road itself because you have less of an arch. The the truck, I mean, is pushing less on the sides of the bridge, pushing it out less, but it requires more supports around it because now the road isn't contributing as much. So I ended up deciding that just for the bridge I had, really wasn't going to help me out because it was just going to end up, any money I saved by shrinking the arch, it was going to go straight into adding more supports around it. It just wasn't going to be good. But here you can see I got all the way to 17th place just from some minor changes, and then 15th, and then 14th. These are just minor changes, they weren't anything serious. And actually here I'll do an example of how minor changes are. Here I just shrunk down the arch and moved another piece in, and I got 13th place. Just like that. Really required nothing special. And I was pretty happy about this, I mean it was going pretty well. So here actually what I wanted to do is something a little bit different. So I thought, if I could replace one of the reinforced roads with a regular road, even like just one of them, I would save like $600, which would be kind of awesome. I ended up figuring out that that middle point, that keystone, had the best probability of being changed. But it just, it was not strong enough, because by the time the back tire of the first truck came by, it would smash it. But it did encourage me to change up the keystone a bit, because clearly it was not struggling. So I ended up lowering that top arch and saved quite a bit of money. But I couldn't check how it was doing because the leaderboards decided to freeze. Yay! I know Polybridge 2 servers were updating or whatever, they, they said on their little forum, so not a big deal. I just came back a couple hours later and it ended up all working out. Just reran the level here. You can see it again in all of its glory. It's pretty solid but it didn't show how I improved. I assume this is something weird about how it thought I was accessing the leaderboards, but I wasn't. Not a big deal though. Next thing I tried doing was moving the top support underneath the bridge. This actually ends up saving money because it's a little bit more of a gradual slope, as you can see, but because of the way that the second fixed joint is so close to the first one, I ended up kind of being impossible, so I reverted that change initially. I figured if it, I wanted to come back to it, it probably would be a money save. And after a while, just playing with that bottom support, like literally just messing around with it, moving it out a bit, moving it in a bit, I got this design. It was 11th place, which was pretty solid. At this point, all I wanted to do was get 10th place. So I ended up just doing some minor changes to try and get there. So really, I was just in money save mode here. Next thing I tried doing was pushing in these bottom supports. And that bottom cluster of four joints, it's actually called a muscle when you have support like that. But by moving that in, that's actually the most expensive part of the bridge, because that's four, actually five supports, but four of them get shrunk at a time. And just by shrinking that in, if I could do it, it saves a lot more money, which is sweet. And here I actually got that working. 
So of course I tried doing the same thing to the other side, that reinforced road, because the reinforced road is also more expensive than the regular road, so shrinking that as much as possible, best way to go. And eventually I did get it working. I just moving that one support in, for some reason saved a ton of money. I, I guess it's because the triangle ended up moving closer to its center, but made sense, and that actually got me to ninth place. I was surprised by this, but I can only assume someone was doing exactly what I was doing, and trying to get top 10. So they passed number 10 by like $2, so then when I passed number 10 by like $5, I passed both of them. That's what I assume. But it was at that moment I decided I wanted to go for top 10. I actually came back I think the next day to do this, because I figured I was close enough I could probably get it done. And I went back to my design of a flat bridge, because I realized that was probably the best way to go. I spent 45 minutes shaving, I don't even know how much money it was last time, but that was kind of a lot of time for a very small amount of money. I think it was like $150. So I decided to go for this bridge instead. But the first thing I did was improve the problem from before, or fix the problem from before, which is add some reinforced roads in the bottom to overall strengthen the bridge. And I couldn't get that working, but I decided to, I guess in theory, lower that bottom support. You can't lower fixed joints, but you can effectively do it by adding a support here. You can see how the wood rests against the wall. So, when the bridge pushes against the wall there, I get a bit less leverage from the trucks, so I can support a bit more weight. And it took a bit of try, trial and error, I mean. It wasn't as easy, I had to copy the old section over to the other side, and then I had to raise the arch quite a bit, but... You see here? Alright, next try. This try. Eventually, I did get them over. And actually, that design was more expensive than my previous design, but I think I spent literally 10 minutes on that part. It was nothing more, so I really was happy that after 10 minutes, I was almost at the point I was before, as when I was at like 45 minutes in. So that was solid. And here I am, I just did some minor improvements, and I'm below my previous score, which was pretty good, because I kind of needed to get lower quicker. And I already got to 11th. But that's a bad thing, actually. What happened, I guess a bunch of people passed me because I don't know if they were watching a stream and stream sniping or what, but even here I saved another $150 over that and I went back another leaderboard spot. At this point I was extremely demoralized and I didn't even know if I wanted to go for number one, so I know I had 10, so I left it for another day and I came back and you can see here, I realized a new design idea. By having a road sit over the terrain there, it causes the second truck to get caught on it for a bit and I only have to support one fire truck at a time. This was actually a very important save, because now if I only have to support half the weight, I can have, you know, in theory, half the support. It's not exactly like that, because the bridge has to support itself too and whatever, but ideally that would be what happens. And here, I could get rid of half of the muscle there, and that was an insane save. Because that was three pieces of wood I could get rid of. And on a bridge like this, three pieces of wood is a night and day difference. I could do it on the other side too, which was crazy. And that was enough to get me all the way up to 6th place. And I, I was kind of blown away at this point, because I didn't know how to react to that. So here, I ended up trying to go for a reinforced road instead. It ended up being roughly the same price, but it gave me a few more options, because the muscles are pretty annoying, because you have to make sure the weight is distributed equally across both segments, as where a reinforced road is just effectively a straight piece of wood. It's basically the strength of wood and a road. So it saves a ton of my time. I tried to go for a wood support on the bottom too, but it ended up just being way too weak. I had to replace it back with the reinforced road. Really here, all I was doing was just some minor boring changes, nothing really incredible. I was just optimizing as much as I could with the new non-muscle designs. But what I ended up trying to go for instead, well I guess I'm either going to do an hour show in a second, is raising up that bottom arch. Now that was actually very very important because I saved a ton of money because the supports that were hanging off the road didn't have to reach down as far to grab the bottom arch. And I'm doing that right here, I'm raising up the bottom arch. And it didn't seem, it, I mean it doesn't seem like it's that important, but raising up four joints is actually substantial like that. Especially in a hyper optimized design like this. It got third place already, I'm going to just keep going for it. And I actually didn't even touch the other side yet, I don't think. And here, just honestly, I would consider that a minor change. And that got me into second place. This was wild, to say the least. So here, this I, this is 64 times speed. 
because this was like an hour and a half of me just doing minor changes to get all the way back up to where I needed to be. I didn't want to do anything revolutionary at this point, like there was no point in, in innovating once I knew I was close enough. Now if I was really interested in keeping a world record, I probably would have tried for some crazy design, but I just wasn't, so I ended up just going for this instead. But you can see something dumb like moving in those top supports to the top arch and ended up doing it. I actually improved that road too so that the fire truck takes even longer to get over. But you can see here, that was enough to get me number one. Not a comfortable lead, but it was a lead nonetheless. Got beat the next day. I'm number three as of recording this. I actually don't know that. We checked it yesterday, but that's it. So yeah, everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video if you like the Polybridge 2 content. It's a lot of work to make. It takes a lot. It's like three hours to record. Actually, three hours to make the bridge. Three hours to edit. Um, I think I'm on my third try of this voiceover. Kind of a pain, but it's definitely fun to make and narr narrate over. Good to hype it up. Even if I get beat the next day, it's just fun for once to be on top of the leaderboard. So yeah, again, thanks for watching, and until next time.